Hi, I'm Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how you can very easily find and manage Chrome extensions to get stuff done using your favorite productivity websites, tools, etc. Uh, this is a follow on from a couple previous videos, and I look forward to doing the deep dive on some of these extensions uh, in this video and probably another one. So let's get started. Uh, extensions, what have we previously covered? These are programs added to Chrome uh, to add or enhance website functionality. What does that mean? Well, there's an example, or here's an example. Uh, I use GQ's task management system. And when I add the extension, uh, it allows my calendar to, let me move my face here, uh, hide and include, uh, hide's not the function, I mean it does that, but it allows me to view and manage uh, my tasks via my calendar. So it's a super tool for time blocking and a bunch of other stuff, uh, but this extension allows this to happen. All right, so there's one kind of example of an extension and my, why, you might, why you might want one. Uh, think of them as we talked about before, like um, you know Chrome apps being the, the car, right? And then these extensions as a car stereo. So um, without the car, they don't do a whole lot. Uh, but with the car, you get a bunch of functionality, uh, maps, music, blah, 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 right? So an extension might be like a car stereo added to your car. All right. A few enhancing capabilities. You're being added to something that already exists. Why do you need an extension in the first place? <laughs> Uh, add that needed capability. You're trying to do something and you can't do it. Uh, go get the extension and now you can, right? It's adding a capability that you didn't have before. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the video I'm shooting right now, talking to you on, uh, was shot on Loom, which is a Chrome extension. You can see the tools hanging out over here. Uh, super easy to send videos to people and explain things versus trying to type it out over an email. Uh, incredibly powerful tool just by the click of a download button, right? So there's some reasons why you might want an extension. Uh, solve a problem. You can't grammar so good. Uh, your writing skills suck and you need help real time. Down here you see the 92 errors I have going on here um, and all the other things that Grammarly is trying to help me with. Grammarly, great extension uh, if you're in school or just trying to write stuff that doesn't sound like trash. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple more examples or reasons why you might go out and grab uh, an extension. Hey, I'm trying to do this thing. I don't do this thing so well. I need help with this thing. I need this thing to be enhanced. Extensions do all that stuff, uh, but you got to pause and realize, hey, I wonder if there's an extension that might help me do this thing better, faster, quicker, so on and so forth. That's got to come from your head, right? Uh, but let's talk more about how you can find these extensions or the right extension for you. Uh, you can search the Chrome Web Store, and you can find that at chrome.google.com forward slash web store, or you can just Google Chrome Web Store. Uh, it looks like this right here, and you can search from the Chrome, Chrome Web Store uh, if you can find the search bar in here. Oh, there we go. And you can search from right in here. Uh, what's next? Or you can search Google. Uh, the capability I need plus the extension, um, if you know the name of the, or no, plus the word extension, sorry. Capability I need plus the word extension. So for example, if I'm looking for a mail merge solution or tool, I might conduct a search that looks like this, mail merge and then extension. And you can see once you move past all of the sponsored ads, which now take up the first page, um, you can start getting to some very helpful Google Marketplace, Google Workspace, extensions and add-ons. That's how you find extensions. And you might ask me, Josh, might add-ons, the thing that you also talked about, might those things also show up in your search results? The answer is yes or yep. Uh, and that's a good thing. Maybe you needed an add-on and not an extension. So Google helps you with, hey, here's what I think you're looking for. Um, because that YAM result you may have seen is actually an add-on, it's not an extension. Uh, so that's a good thing. How do you manage them? All right, this is the one of those solutions that can go 500 different ways. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do this one piece at a time, no pun intended. So we go to the extensions toolbar menu, which is right up here, looks like a puzzle piece. 
And um, so I'm calling this the toolbar menu because it's on the toolbar. And here are all my extensions. And that's so that's how you get started is with the puzzle piece. What's next? So Chrome browser, top right, more button. Or, so or, so these are the two ways, right? You start with a puzzle piece or the more button, these two, three dots. Yeah, here, and then we'll walk the dog on it, but it's more tools and then extensions. Uh, so obviously the puzzle piece is the straight shot to manage your extensions, and Google added this recently, I think, because this is a bit excessive. All right, now let's talk about the extensions toolbar menu, which is the puzzle piece. Uh, so once you've got it open, you can choose the click to launch option, which is actually clicking on whatever the extension is. Uh, in this case, we're going to use Instapaper as an example. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, oh, just, it saved the page there. Yeah, so it's, anyways, click to launch, right? So that's, you execute the extension by clicking on right here. I need to follow my own instructions. Uh, all right, to pin or not to pin. So you see these guys over here, these gals, these, these icons. Some are pinned, some are not. If you pin it, it shows up up here. So those things that you need to click on to launch and you're not using a shortcut for, you would probably want to pin those uh, if you're using them on a regular basis. It's a kind of a quick shortcut to execute whatever extension uh, you need to in a quick fashion. Lightshot's a great example. Use it all the time. Uh, create uh, screenshots. Um, all right, so back to where we were. To pin or not to pin? So do you use it all the time or not? So pin it, don't pin it based on your use. Uh, you can see here Grammarly is not listed up here. It just runs in the background. I don't need to pin it. All right, the more button. So we're going to go to the puzzle button, then the more button for Instapaper. So puzzle button, so we talked about uh, click to launch, pin, now the more button. All right, you can see I got a number of options here. These vary by app. I'm going to hit kind of like the highlights. So these are generally available for all. They may vary and you know, do some clicking around to see what they do if you get some, if your mileage or your results vary. Uh, Instapaper, so this one right here, let's do this here. So the more button, Instapaper Chrome Web Store page. So when you click on Instapaper's more button and then actually click on Instapaper, it's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store page. And we'll just go ahead and launch that. And you can see here, information about this extension and we're not going to cover any of that today. Permissions, learn more about site access. So you're again, you're in here, you're in the more button. This can read and change site data and you can change that right here and you can learn more about site access right there as well. Okay, what's next? Options, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. Remove, manage, yeah, manage the extension. So permissions, now we're at options. So back to the puzzle piece, Instapaper, more. All right, options, what are options? So when we click this, here's some things that we can change with Instapaper. This would be very different for every app that you click on. So, uh, but this is what you see when you go to the options for Instapaper. All right, and again, Instapaper, where are we at here? Okay, uh, options and then remove from Chrome. You could remove it from Chrome by clicking on that. Uh, and then manage extensions, let's go ahead and launch that. Here's here you can see we can manage the extension. All right, we're managing the extension. We're only managing Instapaper right here. Uh, what is next? I'm gonna go in order. Manage extensions. So how do we do that? Again, puzzle piece, now manage extensions. So puzzle piece, manage extensions, plural, and it brings up our dashboard. I'm calling this our uh, extensions page and then, uh, or extensions dashboard, and then details. So we've got this dashboard pulled up. If I click on the details, it's the same as managing the extension again. So you'll see that this pulls up the manage the extension page. All right, what is next? To manage the extension. <laughs> main menu toggle. So once I'm here, if I go to this main menu, I can toggle between extensions and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, this is nice because here you tell it what you want your um, extension, I'm sorry, your keyboard shortcuts to be. Uh, so recently uh, I changed Loom, or not Loom, but I have an extension that changes the size of my browser. 
and with with control shift and I'm getting too far in the weeds here uh, this is where you manage your extensions uh, shortcuts this is how you, this is where you do it so if I wanted to change draft by slight right now I would click on the pencil and then you can't like type the words you actually have to hit the button so if I wanted to make it control D so control D there we go that's the shortcut for slight now to launch it or execute uh, depending on what options are available for you but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so I don't need to launch it it just does it on its own when it pops up all right <clears throat> hopefully you're staying with me what's next uh, some other routes because you can come at this a couple different ways uh, the more button I think I hit this before more button more tools extensions that's where it used to be buried right you have to come up here uh, more tools extensions and that would get you where you wanted to go a uh, very lengthy way now it's just jumping up here to the puzzle piece and then manage extensions all right what's left extensions dashboard there you go uh, control T Chrome extensions so if I was good with typing I'm just gonna copy it though control T has launched me a new tab my cursors in the browser I'm gonna hit the enter button or the control V because I just copied that address that's gonna take me there as well all right what is left uh, what extension Josh what extensions do you recommend and why and I've ruined the surprise stay tuned uh, not for the short duration of this video but I'll definitely make a list and talk about them what's left was this helpful uh, if so please share it with somebody that could use it uh, or hit the like button hit subscribe all that good fun stuff remember in the description you'll see this outline and of course ways to contact me thank you for watching have a great day